Hello everybody, I'm back. Once more. Jeez, it's been a while. I'm sorry guys for I haven't posted any videos for quite a while. Uh, I've been busy with work, been busy with school, and most likely... Oh yeah, that's right, forgot to mention, I am back at school. That's why there has been not that many videos lately. And besides that, on the last episode, I think we just defeated the Thieves Hideout. That's all we did. Um, we got one, we got that weird guy... What's your guy's name? Besides that, uh, what do I have to do now? Jeez. Uh, I think we're going to Hyrule first, because I think we can now get the ability. Oh, that's right. I think we need to get a heart container. That's an instant kill with eight hearts. I'm not sure about. I think it's eight hearts, because they always kill me with seven hearts. Like I said before. Oh, sorry, you guys, for the shaky movie. Oh, that's right. You guys be like, what the heck? Oh, yeah, we, we already got this heart piece. Never mind. Um, you guys be like, whoa. Whoa, why is it daylight? Oh, my God. It's because everyone's out. And I don't go to work till 4 and A uh, bunch of bullshit. Oh, guess what, guys? I'm going to try a new method. Because the first method, I noticed that... It's better to swear. <laughs> I don't care if your parents are like in the room and be like, Oh, did he just swear? I don't care. Tired, okay? <clears throat> Whatever, let's just move on. Bullshit, whatever. Uh, so this episode, we're going to head off to... Um, Somewhere, I don't know where. Uh, I want to say, like, hi. I want to, yeah, let's go to Turtle Rock because it's kind of easy, it's kind of hard. And uh, we got the sand rod. Oh, now this is when we now we have, I think we could purchase items now. Let's click on this. Oh no, but does it matter? No, I don't care. Sorry guys, I'm just tired. Um, jeez, I was gonna do something now. Bottle. So we got the man under the bridge, and we got the one at the village. We need to do one, and that's the Death Mountain bottle. But I don't really want to do that right now. Um, there's other ways you can get bottle. Oh, that's right. Now I remember what we we're gonna do. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. What's up? Uh, is no matter, I'm just glad it's just, uh, so we'll see. Oh, that's right, um, so we, this is like our return since the Dark World, so we haven't seen this guy. Besides that, what we're doing now is we're going off to Lake Hylia. Um, reason we're going to Lake Hylia is because we're going to release that one cave. That we, oh, wait, that's right, we can get bombs. Yeah, the Master Sword. Oh, I got the massive headache right now in my head. Whatever, okay, let's go get the bonds right now. Ah, uh, headache. Oh my god. I don't care if... Whatever. Oh, wait. Is he... Wait, we can start... Yay! There we go, we just need to go back in and go back out. Whatever. Uh, we're gonna buy the bow, because the bow is mainly the one we need to get for usually, and since the uh, first item is always gonna be a uh, half price, if you wanna buy it. And besides that, we got our next item, the bow! Now we don't have, we still get, um, our, um, meter decrease on the bottom left, but at least we don't have to worry about renting it again whenever we freaking die. We're also gonna go ahead and buy the bombs, because... Uh, caves and stuff, and yeah. Um, I think that's it. Yeah, we just needed the ice rod mainly for this next one. Oh, now he's gonna tell us about quick equips, and this is when you guys are gonna start seeing my thumb a lot. Because quick equip, basically, I'm gonna just skip this text. So at the bottom of the screen, you'll be seeing these two, um, the way you um your like your item buttons 
you you see like this weird brown layer on top of it and essentially what that does is whenever you tap on it you see at the bottom of the top of the screen you see uh like the items you want to use and you just simply set them you see like that and press so okay we're good for the next time so now i have my X button equipped with bombs and my arrows equipped with Y without having to necessarily pause the menu. Uh, I'm not sure if my one of the bottles is over here. Did I buy a scoop fruit? If I didn't, take care. Oh fuck, bees! I forgot. They still hurt me. Um, we're gonna go ahead and blow that up. Oh, that's right. Uh, you guys should know this by now. Solo has been known for a lot of their mirror puzzles. Essentially what you see is if you see a specific pattern on one side and you see the sim a similar pattern but something different about the other side, essentially that means you could activate an uh, invisible thing. Um, like, it's fun. It's, it's creative, honestly. I've never seen anything as serious as that. Uh, I'm not serious, as, as uh, simple as that, because it's, um, it's a great mechanic, it helps uh, people uh, figure out what you need to do whenever there's an opposite, so it's like a mirror. It's like those mirror puzzles that you guys see in the like newspapers or whatever. Besides that, we're almost there, and oh, that's right, we got the sand rod, you know what, uh, I already got the ice rod, whatever. Uh, after this one, we're going off to a different area that I know for sure. So we gotta go talk to this, go inside this cave with the screw fruit because there's a runaway item seller. But besides that, we talk to him and I think he gives us either rupees or a next bottle. Um, sure. But, whatever. Anyways, so long story short, this guy bought it. <clears throat> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, this guy bought an apple from this guy and spent every single rupee. But, um, so he bought every rupee and his wife got mad at him, so he just ran away. And he wants this. The item we I just bought right now is called a scoop fruit. Essentially, that stuns everything around it. And his mom, uh, see, there you go. Uh, you always gonna answer, of course. If you say only to you, I'm not sure what happens, but I think it might, um, Made him sure. See, and we give it to him, and he gives us something. Uh, I hope it's a bottle. No, it's just rupees, whatever. At least we got 50 rupees more. Okay, but well, whatever. Uh, is it basically, long story short, he spent a stupid purchase. Uh, his wife got mad at him, and he decided to run away from home. Uh, besides that, we're going off to our next area. What? No, you're kidding me. Whatever. I'm not sure what's in here. I forgot what was in here. I think there's a piece of art. Oh no, it's a fairy. Oh, a fairy fountain. That's perfect for. You know, I really don't care about the whole quick equip. The quick equip can stun myself. Whatever. I don't like it because, well, I like it when I'm playing normally, but whenever I'm playing like this, it's just a, it's, it bothers me. There was a previous recording the other time. But I deleted it because something corrupted it once more. Um, and whatever. So long story short, I hate quick equip when I'm recording videos. Um, I think there's some um, rupees or whatever. And this one, I think I moved my DS a little. Um, what else do I talk about? Oh no! Oh yeah, we didn't even go. Okay, so this episode we're gonna go and we're gonna go visit that one cave that we saw that had like some sort of ice or whatever. I think in the original one there was a similar thing, but except I'm not sure if, it, if Mother Mai Mai. Oh, how we spoiled it. <laughs> um, it's these creatures called Mai Mai's, and uh, Mother Mai Mai lost 100 of her babies. And essentially, what she asked us to do is to search for all of her babies. But we'll just get into it as soon as we get here. So we blow up this cave. Before we blow up, it says, Do not enter. Do not blow up. Blah. Very strange creature inside. That refers to another my mind. Besides that, we open the route and let's move on in. And my mind. So she's like, Oh, I lost 100 babies. Can you help me find them? And, oh my god. Yes, everybody, get ready to be annoyed, because this is the most annoying 
mission out of the whole entire game. It's the longest and it's the most annoying one. As you guys will see right now. And so we go out and we start hearing that sound. It's like, oh, whatever. You guys will be hearing that a lot. It took me about a freaking two weeks just trying to get rid of this on my own time. If we try to pull it, nothing will happen. So essentially what you got to do is wall. There you go. It took me a while to learn that. I thought I needed the um, upgraded gloves, but whatever. Um, for every episode, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be collecting at least 10 my mice. Um, so let's go ahead and start that. Uh, we'll start off by collecting that one, which is obviously the one that he, she showed us. And we turning on the mob, mob map, and we're going to be going, well, not at least 10. You want at least 5. That's crazy. <laughs> So the next my my, uh, it's around here. Here it is. So it's super curl. Get hurt. Ah, oh, super curl. Okay. Okay. So we. How? There we go. Do. And then going here. Um. No, not here. Wrong one. Wrong cave. Today's episode is gonna, not going to be a dungeon episode, but we just got the, ourselves quick ready for the next part, so. Yeah. I'm sorry guys if I sound so lazy. I'm tired, like I said. I got this massive headache. I'm going to work right now. And... I'm just tired in general. Um, next to my mind is... You see, there you go. That's where, why we need to blow up this cave. Besides that, we're almost done here. Screw those rupees. No one. It's just a waste of your time. Uh, next heart piece. Get ready. Is that right out here? And all you gotta do is you gotta blow out the cave and get out through there. We need one more and we get a heart container. Yay! Ah. Douche. Uh, I think. No, not the blue. Blue mail isn't in this next one. Uh, I, I think it gets in the next I don't know where the blue I forgot where it's been so long now <laughs> oh jeez I'm already don't know what I'm doing anymore whatever uh we're gonna do stuff we're gonna go head off to Turtle Rock Turtle Rock is the next location and that's basically like Hylia but in a very very strange uh I mean it's in the strange land of Love rule. I swear, guys. Oh, if you guys enjoyed that, um, right? That that mul it wasn't really a, a online time, but it was more like a multi time, whatever. Uh, that was a whole multiplayer, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys were interested in me doing more of those, I don't. The only thing is that it will be recorded at school because we're all we all know we head out to school at the same time. But besides that, if you guys want me to do more of those, I'll definitely do them. I'll put somebody out. Whatever. Uh, ah, screw off. Uh, next my my is in that rock, but we don't have uh, the necessary item for it. We throw this guy in here. So, let's head on there. Oh, I forgot to lower the volume. Uh, I forgot. Um, I think I found out the reason why I've been getting those copyright strikes, and essentially it's because the copyright strikes, uh, it, Nintendo tells me that I'm using their sound from, uh, whatever. Oh, okay, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, Nintendo's been telling me, you guys, you're using our sound in the background. You're not supposed to do that. And I'm like, well, it's not my sound. It's your, it's your own game. Uh, essentially what I'm saying is, uh, don't be mad at me, Nintendo. I didn't do it on purpose. It's just, you guys have so many sound, so many similar soundtracks for the new Super Mario Bros. series. You guys literally use all the same sounds. There's a next heart piece. We'll get that next time. Or should we get it now? No, we'll get it next time. Uh, then the last turtle is around here somewhere. Oh, now I remember where it was. It's, it's a funny way. Uh, you guys will see it now. Um, what's the saying? Uh, whatever. Anyways, long story short. 
you guys want me to do more of those multiplayer playthroughs, uh, we'll definitely do it. Uh, please mention it's not a co-op, single player, whatever. It's just single player. Now uh, we got three turtles, and now we gotta go see the mama. Mama, oh, no, there you go. So we're gonna go ahead and mama, come out. And there we go, find our other babies. So let's head on over there. Alright guys, we reached the end of our episodes. Uh, I'm sorry if I sounded really lazy in this one. Uh, but besides that, um, I'm going to go ahead and save right here. And uh, Alright. We did okay, whatever. We died one. We didn't even die actually. That was just a knockout, whatever. Um, just to show you guys for a sneak preview. That's what's going to be happening next episode. Alright guys, next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link Between Worlds. We're going to be heading on into Turtle Rock, our next area, to save one of the other seven sages. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe my channel. Uh, uh, sorry guys, I'm stretching. I'm so tired. <laughs> School and work and, you know, whatever. Besides that, you guys know the drill. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. And next time on The Legend of Zelda a Link Between Worlds, we're going to be heading off into the Turtle Rock area and we're going to kill that fucking turtle. Um. Alright, nothing else to say other than that. Uh, let's see, any more announcements? Oh, yeah, so you guys, uh, you noticed, uh, Saturday was different. Uh, something Saturdays it was different because uh, I didn't even get a request. It's just because no one. I noticed my chase started the channel a little too early, and I started that thing too early. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with Bit Trip Runner. But besides that, it is I Pocket Gamer here saying, guys, have a good day, have a good time. Uh, yada yada yada, blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Whatever. All right, guys, I'll see you soon. Bye.